All right, so now we come to March 1974. And Quadrapong. Now this is another case of another game that was released under two different names by both Atari and its subsidiary Key Games. We've already played the Key Games version of this from 1973 called Elimination. Now we're playing probably the better known uh, version. Well, it's really the same game. Quatra Pong from Atari. Yes, it is uh, four player Pong. You actually see there you have the um, US uh, North America poster there on the left. In the middle, you've got the uh, at least the poster as it re was released in Germany, the arcade poster. And then I guess on the far right there, that's more of a description rather than an advertisement. Probably to the uh, arcade owners. Or actually, I, they didn't really have probably arcades even at this time. It was more well, I guess they still had arcades. It was more like like mechanical, uh, electromechanical games and so forth. But yeah, pizza parlors, bars, clubs, nightclubs, etc. So yeah, Quadrapong is a four-player variation of the famous hit Pong. A ball is bouncing from side to side off the four walls of a screen trying to penetrate each player's goal. A beeping sound simulates its rebounds. Each player tries to keep the ball out of his goal with his paddle. If the ball penetrates his goal, he loses one of his four initial points with which he begins the game. When all are gone, his goal closes. Players are eliminated un un until only the victor is left. Although was Atari was at the origin of Pong, largely inspired by Magnavox Odyssey's tennis game, by 1975 only 10% of all Pong games were made by Atari. The competition was fierce. Atari had to innovate and started creating variations of its Pong hit, like Pong Doubles, which we've already played, Quadra Pong, Super Pong, which will be upcoming. A bit loud. There we go, that's better. Uh, Quadra Pong was in fact initially conceived by Key Games in 1973 under the name Elimination. But as Key Games was kind of a subsidiary of Atari, the game was quickly adapted and sold as Quadra Pong. And Elimination and its quadra, uh, Quadrapong counterpart were the first ever cocktail cabinet arcade video games. Ah, oh, Calyx a hater. Calyx a Pong hater. Calyx, I'm I'm willing to bet if it were 1975, you may not be you may not be saying that. You might have been pretty pretty thrilled that there was even video games you could play. I, I'm willing to bet that. Uh, Pong and most of its variants, including Quadrapong, were successfully ported to the Atari VCS 2600 system within the Video Olympics cartridge. I think that was a launch title too. Maybe it wasn't for the 2600. In 1980, the gameplay format was expanded into the Atari arcade game Warlords, which was also ported to Atari's home consoles and computers. Oh uh, yeah, they don't know about E.T. Daryl, exactly. Okay, so I think we're ready for Quadrapong, released May 4th, 1974. Now, the, the tricky thing I've had with this game is actually getting it to uh, start in four-player mode. It seems very... It either starts in a two-player game or a four-player game, more often the two-player version. And sometimes I can get it in four, but it's unclear to me... <laughs> it's unclear to me how to reliably get it to four, so... I'll, I'll try a few times, but if I can't get it to four, we may just have to play the two-player version. Yeah, we got the two-player one. All right, let's try it. Let's try again. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's annoying I've got to do this. Alright, we'll try one more time. I'm trying to put in coins for all four players. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it. So I'm, I think I can con control the... It's easy for me to do the uh, left and right players. Uh-oh. We might be stuck here. <laughs> Oh, there we go, good. Alright, so you can see each player has um, those four dots. Alright, player two lost a life. Ah, two lives now. Uh-oh, player, I guess, three up there? Yep, he's out. So his goal is closed. Yeah, let's see if we can knock out player four. Ah, oh, player two is gone. Boom, there we go. And it's a win for player one. Outlasted his three Quadrapong competitors to win. Quadrapong. From Atari. So again, you get <laughs> they were trying to milk Pong for all it's worth. I mean, look, it was difficult to create any sort of other type of games, at least at that early stage. Well, I give them credit with coming up with some fairly new and inventive ways.